welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys two different ways that you can style your hair in a ponytail. It doesn't have to be boring. So if you guys are interested and want to know more about how you can style your hair two different ways, especially when it's in a ponytail, continue watching. All right, guys, so I'm going to just show you my hair real quick. So this is how my hair looks. I know for those of you who are going to ask, why is my hair so wavy? It's because I just took my hair out of some braids. So the first thing that I'm going to do is go ahead and wet the top of my hair with some water. I'm also going to wet the back of my hair because I'm also going to be putting product on that part too. And to be honest, I don't even know why I was brushing my baby hair down. I barely have any. So the product that I'm going to be using to lay the front part of my hair is this Talia Wajid Green Apple and Alloy Hold Me Down Gel. For those of you who've been following me for a while, you guys know I really love this product that they created. It just really holds my hair down like it says. So I just love using this product whenever I have to like do some type of sleek hairstyle or sometimes when my hair is just out and about. So I'm just applying it at the top of my hair as well as the back. And I have to apologize beforehand. If you guys hear noises in the background while I'm doing this voiceover, it's because I have my son. He's playing with his little car. So I apologize in advance if you guys hear all that noise in the background. So whenever I'm doing like a sleek ponytail, a high ponytail, I always use a brush to comb the front part of my hair as well as the back. And I don't just do the high ponytail in this type of position. I always have to flip my hair over so that it's easier for me to tie my hair and sleek the top and the back of my hair down. So I'm just pretty much brushing out any bumps, lumps, or anything that I have in my hair. Sometimes I do brush it over and then for some reason I do have like little bumps that I missed. So I try to do this as best as I can and I sometimes end up doing it more than 10 times <laughs> because it irritates me when I see little lumps. So when it comes to tying my hair, I always, always use the TIY Life hair ties because this is the only hair tie that holds my hair in place and it never just budges. It holds my hair down so good. So I always go and use these hair ties. It does take some time when it comes to putting my hair in a ponytail. It's not an easy process. I always have to flip my hair forward and then use my hair tie and put my hair through the hair tie. So it does take a lot of time and work and arm muscle because I'd be tired by the time. Um, I get the hair through that when I finish with my ponytail I end up getting the lumps and bumps you guys can see in the back of my hair that I already have lumps in the back So I have to redo this hairstyle So I end up redoing it off camera and I'm gonna tell you guys later in the video how long it took me to actually get it right <music> It took me four tries to get my hair in this ponytail because my hair is so heavy and my arms are tired. My hair is so heavy. Look at this. I brushed it out, which I shouldn't have, but my hair is so heavy. I cannot get it into the ponytail because it was just I kept going, pulling, pulling, pulling. Oh my gosh. I'm just like, let's just do this. Like a loose little bun right here. Look at this. We just have to do it like this. Mm -hmm. We just gonna do it like this. Honeycomb hair. Oh Ooh, guys, my hair. I didn't even feel like doing nothing with it. It's just in a hotel. Oh my gosh. All right, let's, let's do it. So I got my hair in a ponytail and I'm just gonna go ahead and do a twist. Butter. 
All right guys, so I didn't say it in the video when I showed you guys the Empress Butter, which is pretty much chibi butter, but I just go ahead and put that at the ends of my twists just so that it can hold it and keep it in place. Also so that it can moisturize my ends. If you guys can see, my ends are a little dry, so I end up just, you know, moisturizing it with the chibi butter. <music> Guys, so I finished one side of my hair, but I still have to do the other side. So let's go ahead and get it. So now I'm just sleeking my hair back. Like I told you guys, I have to smooth the top and I'm just using a slick brush. And and I also brush the back of my hair because like I said, sometimes I do get like frizzies back there. So I just go ahead and just smooth it. So that's pretty much it for this hairstyle. It's really easy to do, it just takes some time. 
And the last thing that I do is just put a little oil into the twist and mainly towards the ends of my hair because like I said, it is dry at the ends. So I just add a little bit more moisture with the oil and I just go ahead and focus on my ends. But yeah, that's pretty much it on this specific hairstyle. <music> Now for the next hairstyle, it's super easy. What you're gonna do is keep your hair in twist, but instead you're gonna go ahead and section it off in three parts and we're gonna go ahead and make a braid. Now we're not done yet, what we're going to do is I'm grabbing a headband, you guys have seen this headband before, but instead of using it the front part of my head like a regular headband, I'm just going to tie right where the ponytail starts, where the hair tie is, and I'm just going to tie a knot and let it hang. And I've recently been doing this with my headbands, just using it at the top and covering my hair tie. I feel like it adds more style, a lot more pizzazz with my hairstyles pretty much it on this video i hope you guys enjoyed these two hairstyles it's really simple it does take a little time but i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in the next one all right bye guys